station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground. I'm Kayla LaFrance. It has been an exciting week of change and growth for the orbiting laboratory. Physical separation confirmed. The Piers docking compartment is free from the International Space Station that had been its home for the past 20 years. On Monday, July 26, the Russian cargo vehicle Progress 77 undocked from the space station, taking with it the Piers docking compartment. Not long after their departure from the orbiting laboratory, the conjoined duo performed a deorbit maneuver and re-entered Earth's atmosphere above the Pacific Ocean and disintegrated bringing Pierce to a fiery end of nearly 20 years of service to the space station. After supporting multiple dockings and 52 spacewalks over the years, Pierce decommissioning and departure opened a birthing port for the arrival of the new science facility, NACA. This new MLM, or multi-purpose laboratory module, arrived at the station a few days later after launching from the Baikonur Cosmodrome on a Proton-M rocket. Once safely in orbit, the new module hung out for a few days in free flight to allow ground teams to perform various checkouts and evaluations. At 43 feet long and weighing in at 23 tons, this new MLM will serve as a new science facility while also providing an additional docking port and an airlock for future spacewalk operations. NASA and its commercial crew program partner Boeing are taking another major step forward on the path to regular human spaceflight launches to the International Space Station. The launch of this test flight of Boeing CST-100 Starliner will demonstrate the end-to-end -end capability of the spacecraft and Atlas V rocket from launch to docking and then returning to Earth in the desert of the western United States. Liftoff will take place from Space Launch Complex 41 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. About 31 minutes after launch, Starliner will reach its preliminary orbit before it catches up with the space station. When Starliner docks to the station, it will deliver over 400 pounds of cargo and crew supplies to the ISS. Space to ground. Along with the cargo, Starliner will carry with it Rosie the Rocketeer. An anthropometric test device, ROSI, combined with 15 sensors deployed throughout the capsule, will provide insight into how much force a human body would experience while in all phases of a mission aboard the Starliner and Atlas. Coverage of the Boeing Orbital Flight Test 2 mission, from launch to hatch opening, will air live on NASA television, the NASA app, and the agency's website. Be sure to join us and cheer Rosie and the Starliner on. And that's Space to Ground for this week. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next week. Subscribe for more space.